Before using the tool, read the instruction manual carefully. This is the main switch. When you turn on the switch, the tool takes the initializing action. For your safety, always keep the main switch turned off when the tool is not in use. And if the tool is not used for more than 30 minutes, the tool takes the auto power off and is automatically turned off. To use the tool again, turn the main switch off, then turn it on. This is the trigger. When you pull the trigger after the initializing action is completed, the tool starts tying action. This is the trigger lock. With setting the trigger lock downward like this, the trigger is locked and the tool is prevented from operation. For your safety, always keep the trigger locked when the tool is not in use. Push the trigger lock to the left slightly and then push upward to unlock the trigger. This part is called the arm. The tie wire comes from the tip of this arm part. This is the curl guide. If the curl guide is opened when the trigger is pulled, the tool emits this beeping sound and does not start tying action. If the tool emits this beeping sound frequently, the rebar size combination you are trying to tie may exceed the design specification range. Basically, there are three types of wire currently available. The standard type is TW897A, which is black annealed steel wire, and TW897APC is polyester coated wire, and this wire is designed for tying epoxy coated rebars. TW897AEG, electric galvanized steel wire, Confirm that the main switch is turned off and trigger is locked. Then, press the release lever. Also, confirm that the release lever is caught in the red release stopper. Push the reel stopper to release the reel holder. Peel off the adhesive tape holding the tie wire about halfway like this. Do not peel it entirely from the wire spool to avoid tangling the wire. This is the brake. The wire reel is stopped by the brake after the wire feeding action is completed. With installing the tie wire, the brake must be in its off position. Set the tie wire in the wire spool magazine and push the reel holder. Push the reel stopper again to lock the reel holder. Next, insert the tip of the wire into the pipe, which is the silver tube part. Push the release stopper to engage the feeding gears to hold the tie wire in place. At this stage, peel off any tape that still remains. Turn the wire spool to remove slack in order to keep the wire tension high enough. Turn the main switch on. The tool will then take the initializing action. Press the trigger lock to the left slightly and push upwards to unlock the trigger. Now the tool is ready for tying. When tie wire gets jammed around hook parts, remove it according to the following process. Push the release lever to disengage the feeding gears. At this state, pull the trigger. The tool makes these four repeating beep sounds. Turn the main switch off, lock the trigger, and then take the battery out. Confirm that the twister is in its extended position.
cut the wire and remove it with pliers. Hold the tool at a 45 degree angle with respect to the rebar cross. Apply the tool perpendicular to the surface of the crossed rebars. After the tie is complete, lift the tool upwards. This flexible curl guide enables this action to proceed with ease. If you need to cross tie, bend the tail of the first tie before making the second tie of the cross tie. If the wire hits the rebar, the wire goes wrong direction like this. If this happens, be sure to eliminate the wire with pliers before making the tie again. Foreign substances such as iron powder or concrete dust may cause the tool to malfunction, especially these feeding gears. The brake part should be kept as clean as possible. Use an air gun and blow away any foreign substances. If the sensor F or sensor G is covered with dust, the tool may emit this four repeating beep sounds and stop tying. This is sensor F. This is sensor G. Wipe the sensors at regular intervals and keep them clean. To keep the tool lightweight, the body of the Max Rebar tire tools are made of plastic. If the RB Series tools are dropped from a high place, the frame may crack or break. Take care not to drop the tool. Unlike many other electric power tools, the Max Rebar tire tools must be free of any oil. Users must not lubricate in or around feeding gears or anywhere inside the tool. The battery included with the new tool has never been charged. Charge it completely for 30 minutes before use the tool. We believe the Max Rebar tire tools will help you to save time and make your tying work a lot easier.